the uh, lineup checklist is complete. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, start the takeoff. So I'm gonna release the parking brakes right now, and I'm just gonna just gonna give it about 50% of N1. Here it comes. Both engines are stabilized, and now let's uh, proceed to go for a uh, flex takeoff. All right, one, two. All right, here we go. Manflex 68 SRS Auto Trust Blue. A little bit of forward pressure on the side stick. And away we go. So just literally use the rudder pedals. Keep yourself in the center of the runway as best you can. Now your pilot monitoring is going to call 100 knots, which you will say checked. And that's when you can... Re uh, release the uh, side stick and uh, keep it nice and centered and here comes uh, V1 and rotate so just pull back on the stick one nice gentle rotation straight to 12.5 degrees which is right over there they're gonna say positive rate you're gonna say gear up all right and you're just literally gonna maintain about 15 degrees nose up climbing away and what you want to do now is you're gonna ask your um, you know you're gonna ask the pilot uh, monitoring to basically activate the approach phase you're gonna come to performance and we're gonna activate the approach phase very soon all right as soon as we get to about 1600 feet and we clean up the aircraft so here comes 1600 I'm just maintaining the runway track for now here we go, lever climb, gonna print the thrust lever back one notch, drop the nose, and just maintain 1600. Alright, now what we're gonna do is as we level off at, at uh, 1600 feet, we've got the flaps one speed there, but we don't want to retract the flaps, alright? We're gonna go performance, activate the approach phase, confirm, and that's gonna keep us at our flaps one speed. Now the next thing you want to do is we're going to put the flight directors off, we're going to put the bird on, and we're going to turn to the right downwind, which is 299, alright? So I'm going to set 299 right over here, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to roll the aircraft to about 20 degrees of bank, right over there, okay? 20 degrees of bank, and I'm literally just watching my vertical speed making sure that the aircraft is not climbing it's not descending and I'm gonna stay in this bank I've set 299 which I can see right over there and also right over there so I know where I need to turn so all we've got to do now is just maintain 1600 feet I can even increase my bank of turn my rate of turns but I'm just gonna keep it at 20 degrees just to be on the comfortable side of things 20 degrees is more than enough and as you can see, we're now basically turning for our downwind uh, uh, for runway one to right. And then from that point on, we're gonna be looking out for, um, for the threshold and then we're gonna time ourselves 48 seconds outbound. All right, so I can, you can see I'm climbing, so I'm just gonna bring the nose down a bit, stop the aircraft from climbing, small, tiny corrections just to keep the aircraft where I want it to be all right so 299 is coming in there it is right there so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna gently we're 10 degrees so I'm gonna reduce it to just start bringing it out of the turn level out there make sure the bird stays on the horizon so I don't lose altitude and there you go as long as you put the tail of the bird on the blue track you will maintain 290 degrees factored for the wind. So now, here you go. I've got 299, uh, the aircraft is heading 299, which is confirmed by the tail of the bird on the blue track. And I'm maintaining 1600, which is also confirmed by the wings of the bird on the horizon, all right? And now, there we go. There's Dubai Airport right over there. That's where we took off from. And we're looking for the uh, threshold, all right? So once we're at the threshold, we're gonna start our timer outbound and then start configuring the aircraft. For now, just 
work the side stick very very gently small inputs here and there just to keep you where you need to go I'm coming up on the threshold of the air of the runway so I can see it right over there and also here at my three o'clock it's touching the threshold so we're gonna start the timer okay so we want to go out 48 seconds so the timer is on and we're gonna go flying outbound maintaining 1600 feet flying outbound 48 seconds we actually have the winds are a little bit all over the place right now, so I'm not going to do the whole add, add, add and subtract on the headwinds and tailwinds. I'm just going to keep a standard 48 seconds, all right? Auto trust is on for this exercise, but if ever they tell you to go manual trust, don't worry about it. Just literally match, match the trust levers and then push, push the button and there you go. Now just maintain the S speed and add, add and re reduce power to maintain that. Here's 40 seconds. Very soon we're gonna get to 48 seconds. All right, I'm gonna bring back the auto trust as well. There we go, time, 48 seconds, all right? In fact, I went out a little bit extra. Now we're gonna start the turn back. So I'm going to bank 20 degrees. I'm gonna set the runway track, which is 119. I'm going to bank the aircraft 20 degrees as well and I'm going to ask for flaps 2 flaps are moving it's going to be auto brakes low for this one maintaining 1600 feet all right we got flaps 2 we can now go gear down and flaps 3 which is I've just selected and we're going to start a nice shallow descent about 700 to 800 feet a minute down towards the runway looking out for the runway as we turn all right now keep in mind I did turn at 20 degrees so coming back to the runway I only need to turn 20 degrees now be very careful if you're doing this in an airport with parallel runways they've cleared me to land on runway 12 right which is right over there do not over do not delay your turn and line up with runway 12 left okay keep that runway in your sight you see I'm descending at a very gentle rate so I'm gonna go flaps full now and we can do the landing checklist and basically now it's just small inputs just to line us up with that runway 800 700 feet a minute is pretty much all you're gonna need for this so there's our runway it's pretty much almost in front of us and we're just going to bring the aircraft down gently, looking at the pappies at the end of the runway. The, we want to see two reds and two whites. 1, There's 1,000 feet. Here we go. By 500, we need to be stabilized, all right? So when this thing says minimums, I need to be fully stabilized and heading towards that runway. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just working the side stick and making sure the aircraft is going in the direction I want it to go. We're looking good on the profile, the slightly low. I'm just gonna raise the nose a little bit. Gonna maintain 500. that track, 500 feet. Minimum. Okay, minimums, and we're stable. We're in front of the runway, we have a good glide in, and everything's okay. So all we gotta do now is just let the nose come up just a little bit, reduce the rate of descent so we can stay on our pappies. 300. 300 feet. Oh look, how oh, nice. There we go, slightly, slightly low, correct in. There we go. We're gonna get two reds and two whites. There we go, two reds, two whites. Pappies are happy, slightly high now, correct in. 100. Okay, here's 100 feet and at 50 feet, I'm gonna start flaring 50. and kill the power. 40. I'm literally gonna flare 30. to five degrees. 20. Retard. Pulling and holding for five degrees. Power, powers at idle. And we're on the ground. And I'm engaging idle reverse using the rudders to keep us in the center. So we got spoilers, reverse is green, decel, the aircraft is decelerating and 
everything's good. We'll come up to a nice stop. I can even go full reverse and get the aircraft to slow down even more, even faster. There we go, 70 knots. Gonna cancel the reverses, press the brakes, cancel the auto brakes, and I can use the rudder to kind of help us exit the air the runway. And that, my friends, is how you do a visual circuit. All right, keep your controls to a minimum only as required input to see the change happening and once you see that don't do anything else just just let the aircraft trim auto trim and uh, and, and keep itself uh, where uh, you know where you want it to be all right